I took the brand new high performance RV Starlink dish on the ultimate test through remote areas at highway speeds, urban areas to really stress it out, and even really tried just to break the service in order to provide you with the best perspective of how well Starlink performs on the move in a wide variety of situations. A large fry and a large Coke? Yeah, I got pretty creative at times really to stress this service out and overall I have to say I'm more than impressed with the performance that comes in at a hefty price tag. To set up the high performance dish mounted on the roof of my car using four 100 pound magnets. You can learn more about how I set everything up in a previous video. We are using a laptop inside of the car set with a macro to constantly take speed tests as we drive. All results on Wi-Fi since the newer version of the router does not come with a built-in Ethernet port for some incredibly idiotic reason. This is inside of a city. You see trees and power lines and stuff. Not bad. Not bad at all. Here are some of the highlights with three cameras synced up to try and give you a good picture of what the surroundings look like during each test. Inside of an urban neighborhood, results were downright impressive, frequently hitting near 100 megabits per second download and latencies almost under 50 milliseconds when connecting to a Chicago-based server from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It's worth noting that this is the winter time and without a lot of leaves on the trees. I suspect this would have a larger impact on speeds and latency, but time will tell on that front. Over about 90 minutes, I conducted 70 different speed tests while driving in a wide variety of situations, from urban neighborhoods, that's to be expected, to a downtown with many high-rise buildings. All right, we appear to be back on the line here. That's correct. And even a drive through for good measure. And of course, a situation that I thought would completely break the surface. Yeah, that's about all, all that you would expect. And it did. For the test that we completed in the urban area, we had an average download speed of 136 megabits per second down, an average upload speed of 11.6 megabits per second, and the average latency at just 42 milliseconds. Very impressive. Now stepping into rural areas, I would have guessed performance would have been a lot better, but that was not necessarily the case. Moving at 60 miles per hour to the south, we're going to accelerate west from where we're now at 40, and we're going to get up to 50, near 60 miles per hour. For the test that completed, we have an average download of 102 megabits per second, an average upload of about 11.6 megabits per second, and an average latency down to 37 milliseconds. Upload speeds, on average, drop by about 30 megabits per second. Upload speed, actually the exact same as the urban average. Latencies did improve by about 5 milliseconds, and this makes a lot of sense given the less obstructions in the area. Now, to be clear, this remains great service for almost every task you would normally do on the road. Gaming would be a bit difficult with more chaotic latencies, but I can't imagine a lot of people trying to get a Warzone dub in a car. But you better believe that is something I'm going to test in a future video. Definitely subscribe for that video. I have two theories why the download speeds took a hit in the rural areas compared to urban areas. Either A, the forward movement of the car has an impact given that we were traveling faster, or B, there were more Starlink users in this rural part of Iowa, and there may have been more congestion. I think the former is more likely the scenario, but it's hard to rule out either option, really. The multiple cells that we were driving through are taking reservations for future service coming soon, so they may be near capacity. I do want to stress again, however, how absolutely stunning this service appears to be. The use cases of high-speed, low-latency internet on the road are wide-ranging, from emergency services to media organizations, and this is a perfect service for that. There will be obvious issues with weather, such as heavy rain or maybe even baseball-sized hail. But, in my experience in the past, it may actually be better than you might think, and we will do our best to test that in future videos.